This morning we are at the awesome facilities of MD Flugzeug Bau, our partners in northern Germany. And with me is the COO of uh, MD, Kino Markwald. Morning, Kino. Good morning, guys. Good morning. So, a uh, little bit of work here. A little bit, yes. Und? Viel zu tun, viel zu tun. Und uh, ja, hier machen wir unsere Endmontage komplett. Einmal alles durchgucken, ob alles da ist, alles dabei ist, zur Auslieferung vorbereiten, einmal aufhübschen. Und hier bei diesen Flugzeugen machen wir jetzt die Prototypenkonvertierung. Okay. So dass alles dem Stand der Zulassung entspricht und dann entsprechend an die Kunden ein zugelassenes Flugzeug ausliefern können. Ah, schon, ne? And you have beautiful facilities. If I look at this fine listing, the facilities of yours, it's most modern, ne? Um, when did you erect these facilities? Mm, vor ungefähr fünf, sechs Jahren okay. haben wir angefangen, die Hallen so nach und nach zu restaurieren. Und äh, herausgekommen ist das hier als Endmontagehalle eigentlich ja, für Jonker-Flugzeuge, für Instandhaltungsmaßnahmen an allgemeinen Flugzeugen. Und natürlich in erster Linie auch der obere Bereich im hinteren Teil für die Jetmontage, äh, um dort die Triebwerke herzustellen. Schon. I remember in 2009 that we arrived here for the first time because we believe there's a manufacturer in Germany building a jet and we were looking for a jet. So I arrived here without a plan and I knocked on the door of Tim and said, we're here because we want to have your jet. And he said, who told you that? I said, no, we find out that there's a jet coming up and we need a jet for our, our yacht designs. And then uh, it started with a, with a journey and we're now 10 years um, in business and we are partners for about five years mm -hmm. and uh, we have uh, completed the certification of the yacht designs, the JS1, yes. and now the JS3 is uh, almost completed. We expect it now soon, the paperwork. Now, a long job, the certification. It normally takes about two years of intense work and feedback with the authorities, so we'll have a bit of a discussion with, with Tim, the head of the design office, about that. Yeah, ja, vielleicht fragen wir ihn einfach. Guten Tag. How are you? Wie geht's? Good. That is Tim. He is the, the boss of M&D Flugzeugbau, and um, Tim is uh, also the head of the design organization. So, uh, Tim, uh, quite a journey to get the certification. What's the status? The status is that we uh, await the TC today. 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 Heute. Yes. That's good news. That's shall very we good our, news. Eh? Shall I tell our customers that? <laughs> <laughs> and then we can start with the prototype conversion plan. Can you explain a bit? about the process just to make sure all the aircraft are on the latest certification standards. So this aircraft you need some small adjustment and small modifications, a very small list. Yeah. We were in the JS3 quite uh, a little bit more complete with the design, so the changes to, to make certification is very little. And I uh, think we, we are on a good way to get the customers' gliders fairly soon out once we get the production approval. Yes. So once we have the TC we can get the production approval um, Approved, that yeah. is also organized with our uh, LBA uh, that the production approval will come immediately after we uh, have the TC in our hands. Okay, and tell us about your design organization. We are working with, uh, as Jonker and MND works together with the development of sailplanes and uh, MND is the design organization and we have a few engineers working on the design organization, but I believe we have now a new status in the design organization. Yes, that would, that's maybe I have to explain a little bit uh, because we, maybe in we, we, we are also uh, we are a design organization a long time, or in German, we are seit a long time a uh, design organization. Mm -hmm. um, aber es gibt im Prinzip zwei grundsätzlich unterschiedliche Wege. Die meisten äh, in der Branche haben eine äh, alternative Alternative Procedure to Design Organization. And then the authority uh, needs to have quite be involved in the process. There's a high level of involvement of the uh, authority. And now we reached since uh, April this year. We applied two years, three years ago. It is a long process to reach that goal, uh, but since April we have uh, uh, EASA uh, J design organization, which means we have a full design organization for CS22 gliders, CS23 powered aircraft and jet other things, jet engines and all that stuff. 
Um, yeah, and so in the future we have we can reduce uh, uh, involvement of the authority step by step to a very 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 low no, minimum, no. which means in theory, finally the authority just undersigns the TC. Ah, that is good news. Now, well so done. So we, we are very much faster in the future. Okay, so I also have a feeling that with the next projects we will be on the certification side even, even better and we don't expect the delays that we had in this time. Unfortunately, there are some delays that you, that you also have with the, with the workload of the authorities that cannot attend to your, your work immediately, so they have to go into a queue and unfortunately the authorities had quite a busy time and they had to start much later with it. And, and that delayed, unfortunately, the certification. We did not expect the delays, but this is how it is. And uh, for the future, I think we will be, will be more freedom, yes. less involvement and faster. Yes, we follow a lesson learned process. Uh, after, after every TC, we go into a, a review of that process and follow it directly where we, where we had made some small some mistakes. mistakes. Uh, and we, everybody makes mistakes, that's normal, but we sort that out step by step. Well done. So, um, if we just look at the certification of the J3, we started about two years ago with the application, yep. a little bit more. And um, within three months we have done the major test, the structural wing test was observed by the LBA. We did that in South Africa and they visited us and we were, for the first time, uh, we, we passed all the certification, the big test, the flutter test. Um, the flight testing we passed, um, although the aircraft is designed on the edge, we know that all the stall speeds are on the edge designed and therefore um, some of these tests had to be verified by uh, the authority asked us to verify those as, the, as they were on the, on the, on the edge. Um, but lucky we, with a, with a, with a, with a re-evaluation of the, of the process we got exactly the same results. But as you know it's on the edge, this aircraft it's is on the edge, you cannot design it Closer to it's, this, it's, this. It's pretty clear for us all, I think. If, if you design a glider like a JS3, which is a high performance uh, challenge glider, yeah, um, you have to go to the edge. Yeah. If you don't do that, you will never have this high performance. And it's a challenge to meet exactly the edge. The <laughs> edge. Yeah. Do you think the edges in the certification is safe edges? Yes. Uh, as I always say, it's, it's a little bit... Um, hard yeah, to say. It's it. hard <laughs> to say, but every paragraph in the certification is over decades written with blood. That's so true. It's, it's restrictive, but it's safe. Yeah. If, if you meet that point, it's a safe glider. That was also our experience, is that there are reasons why certain limitations are in. And uh, it's almost um, like a seesaw. If you if you if you push on one edge of the certification points, you have to relieve on other points. You cannot always push it all the way in the corners of the certification. No. It's very hard to find where we think we will get the performance out and hitting some of the edges in certain places. So it is it's a, it's a tough job. But I think also if the certification is not there and you can design an aircraft without a certification specification. There will be much more blood. Yes, we will. We will. We will really not. You, you have to find off. a balance, but we try always to push the balance a little bit more to performance. performance. <laughs> to performance. All right, but um, you know, you spoke with some of our customers already. What do they think about the the product already flying under the permits to fly? Mm, I think the customers are very satisfied. Man can sich reinsetzen. Man fühlt sich wohl. Wir haben eine JS3 an einen Verein verkauft, ja. ähm, an unseren Verein. Die sind sehr, sehr zufrieden. Sie sind mit der Werksmaschine geflogen und fühlten sich wohl. Jeder hat sich reingesetzt und war begeistert vom, von der Leichtigkeit des Bedienens, von, von dem Handling im Allgemeinen, vom kurzen Landen, was möglich ist durch die großen Bremsklappen. Ähm, sie bietet viele Möglichkeiten für allerlei Fliegerei. Das heißt, ich kann damit einen Wettbewerb gewinnen, ich kann ihn aber auch für Anfänger nutzen, die lernen über Land zu fliegen. Ich kann mit dem Flieger so viel machen und jeder steigt am Ende aus und grinst über alle Ohren. Schön. Hast du das verstanden eigentlich? Ach, das ist einfach. Ein bisschen. 
<laughs> Just because I know the answer. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Thanks. Good. You're welcome. Cheers. <laughs> Careful.